<laughs> of course. Oh, Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I often borrow his wares and, uh, break or lose them. Open up, Blackjack! Don't make me use force. I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. You know my property, North Star. I told you I wouldn't even sell you a gumball. Oh, come on, partner. I don't even know what a gumball is. And those last transactions were ages ago. I'm a changed monster. You lost all my premium revolvers last week. Probably getting your sandstorm and whatnot. Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. Don't worry, Clover. He's coming. My good speedy. Of course, sir. I was just gonna ask you to sell a gun to this child. I worded that poorly. Hold on! Uh, this ain't a child, you see? I, I was joking. Uh, they're just a very small, but very tough monster. <sighs> I'll give you 400 G. Well, why didn't you open with that card, patron? Come inside with me. I'll fetch the paperwork. See, I had it under control. What in the world is wrong with you? You heard me loud and clear. Your children's cartoon characters got nothing on us cowboys. Could lasso up any one of them aliens of yours if I damn well please were they real. <laughs> no, you couldn't. Don't you realize how astronomically insane the power scaling on this series is? And you're telling me a spaghetti western can go against a Ben 10 that averages at solar level? Don't know what you're on about, partner, but solar level is rookie stuff. Most cowboys can ride, ride into the sun on their beloved steed. We already had that argument, Starlo. That is just plain false. Damn it, children, I tell you it's true. I saw it with my own eyes through a movie. Well, it's based on a real thing, even if the stories are made up. They wouldn't put that in if it wasn't darn possible or wouldn't be Western. It would be one of them damn sci-fi things of yours. It, you know what? Fine, for the sake of argument, let's say Clint Eastwood is freaking solar level. Actually, I don't think Clint Eastwood has gone into the sun in any of the ones I- Any cowboy, okay? Listen to me, Starlo, cause I'm losing my sanity here. There is this alien, Alien X, okay? A celestial sapien race of beings that can control everything with a mere thought. Are you with me thus far? Guess so, yeah. Okay, so in the fourth episode of Omniverse, there's this device that destroys the universe, and guess what? Alien X not only survives it, but is able to recreate the universe with a mere thought. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you do understand. The sun is only a very small part of a universe. Hell, humans don't even know how big the universe is. So that is a lot more than the sun. So that makes at the very least Alien X universal level. Sounds about right. So, if we establish Clint Eastwood and all cowboys as solar level, then, and I cannot believe I am stooping as low as this, Clint Eastwood cannot beat Alien X. Yeah, what do you have to say about that? There's this one that galloped into the stars. <laughs> Why am I so smitten by this? I don't even know who Clintwood X is. Alien Clintz? A few days ago, three thugs tried to mug me. Yes. I don't know if they wanted money mm -hmm. or they wanted something more sexual. Wow. But it's a lucky thing I had my pieces. Your, your pieces? My gun. Oh. Fine. Anyway, I started blasting. Wow. Then they ran away. I ran after him. Okay. Bang! Try to shoot him in the butt. Thank God I went down to Gunther's Guns and picked up a spare. I don't think one would have done it. I'm going to go out and buy some more. <laughs> I'm in danger. 